understand why you can't say hi to Henry. I always say hi to your puppy every week. Yeah, and she hates it. Hi, puppy! Oh, oh, oh! See, I know, she's a mean lady. Can we pay attention, please? I have a proposition to propose. Leadership camp. Uh, yes! No. I just think it behooves us to invest in our teaminess. Oh, fudge. Just another way for you to lie about having a job. <laughs> I do it too. My business card says executive vice employed man. It has rope courses and obstacle courses. It's kind of the same. Tug of war. It, using a rope, but totally different. And zip lines. Physically strapped to me, zooming through the overbrush. Can Henry come? He has separation anxiety if I'm gone too long. He doesn't say no to pets? Sure. That's why I didn't go to college. Bring the cat. We'll zip line him. Heck yeah, he will. Not it. To all of this. Oh, come on, Chris. We haven't even actually ever met, actually, in real life. Don't you ever wonder how I smell? Or how tall I am? You'd be surprised. Oh, come on. Chris, pretty please. We can make campfires and s'mores and novel waffles and, and soggy biscuits and oogie woogies. And Some of those aren't the things you think they are. Sam, those biscuits have come. Come on, man. You know, maybe this is what we've been missing. The chance for my natural leadership aura to inspire the drones in person. Well, and it's in Vegas. Fine. Yeah. Yes. I will see you guys. In Vegasville, Arizona. <laughs> Chris looks like a grumpy vampire. <laughs> yeah, no skin cancer for me, thanks. Ah, see, this is fun. Who needs the strip? Did you know that most people are vitamin D deficient? It's the sunshine vitamin. And we're in the sunshine state. Arizona is the copper state. Uh, Sam, could you go ahead and turn down? I'm getting like a weird audio doubling. Oh, uh, track. Sorry. Yeah, why are we on webcams? I, they, oh, there is a reason. A leadership reason. Hold on, I wrote it down. Yeah, I'll bet you wrote it down. I'll bet it's a leadership reason. God, my handwriting is terrible. Mm, mine too. Let me see. Uh, like bring it over there? Or do you want to come you over? You can just hold it up. I mean, I Bye, can see Bye, Walter. Bye, Sam. I can barely recognize you without all the hairs on your face. I think Chris dropped out of the chat. Yeah, dropped out. Oh, he left his robe. Hold on. Do you think anyone's, maybe that could be our business. No one's thought of, of what? you just market a webcam, you just market a webcam as a regular camera. Cause look, I'm using it like a, I guess you just use a normal camera. Yeah, I ran back from that. Roll sound, three, no cameras, and action. There was never really a clear villain, like the, the, the motivations, nobody's, Plan. Ever made sense? I gotta. I I can't talk about last one so I'm just gonna get into spoiler territory here. It fucking blows. Uh, spoilers. And there's 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 a girl in it, but she doesn't even. She's not even. It's not clear whose side she's on at any time. And, there, and like the relationship between McLean and his son is is absurd because they think, oh, my son is 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 a screw. We gotta go get him out of trouble again. But he like clearly a well-trained spy, so it's not like like he must have gone to spy school. Right? He must have had some kind of military training to, to be a spy in Russia. So Willis must have known that he wasn't a screw. He must have known that for so long because he's like that was going to spy college or whatever. Why would Willis be, be like, oh, he's in prison again? How could he, how?